Yo, what's up guys? So today we got something special in the works. My first ever uh, BGS submission return. I have a bunch of PSAs, SGC, stuff like that. One of these dogs. But uh, I, for my PC, most of these are PC with the exception of uh, one card that I'm planning on reselling that I got a good deal on. Um, so I'll start from, I haven't really checked them out. I did see the grades online, however, I have not um, not looked at these yet. Let me pop them open. There was one disappointing card in the lot, unfortunately, but it's because I did not clean the surface. Always clean the surface of shiny cards, guys. So as you see, eight cards total. Most of these are Brady. Um, obviously, got a pretty decent sized Brady collection going on. So let's get into it. I put them up close put them on this box, huh? All right, so obviously first one here is gonna be a nine. Um, I was very disappointed with this one. Not sure why they gave it a nine. I didn't pay for subgrades just because I got a good deal on holiday shipping. It was like 15, 20 bucks a card or something like that. And they came back in 20 days. So nine, not bad. I mean, most of these cards I bought for about $3. I'll probably put a little thing up top about the price I paid versus how much it's worth now. But like I said, this is a PC card. Actually looks pretty good in a nine, I'm surprised. Like, still not sure what they dinged it on. I mean, I didn't really check the surface out, but the corners look perfect, the edging looks great. I guess that's a downside of not paying for uh, maybe that corner, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that corner a little left there. Take it out of this. So first one, nine, not too bad. Obviously next one up, looks like it's gonna be a nine as well here. You can tell on Beckett, he's gonna ruin the color, or they ruin the surprise with the color. Nonetheless, very nice looking slaps, man. I mean, geez, for 20 bucks a card. Is it me or is this freaking, look at that. Look at the slab, it's like uneven. The card moved. That's really weird. Actually, that's kind of annoying. I think this one, kind of the same issue. I wonder what's up with that. All right, so nonetheless, a nine here. This one, uh, I didn't realize it was a retail Crown Royale. I just kind of bought it for like eight bucks, but still PC. I'm not planning on reselling this. I got this card for eight or nine dollars, so it's a good deal. This one, I think had a few soft corners, so I didn't never expect it higher than a nine, but I just like kind of the look and the horizontal of it. Uh, nonetheless, next one, a uh, little Gronk action to match the Brady Crown Royale. They aren't all Brady and Gronk cards, guys, by the way. So this card got an 8.5. Now, love the look of the slab, first of all. With this color, man, this is phenomenal by Beckett. I mean, this just looks really, really freaking good. It's so clean. Um, not perfectly centered in there. Once again, that's kind of disappointing. And it looks up at the top here as if the card got a little damaged, a little folded in, but nothing bad. This card is the one I forgot to clean the surface of, unfortunately. So if you see any uh, marks in there, that's my dumb fault. Probably would have gotten a nine, I imagine. And uh, has a little corner thing there, but nothing like super bad. So Beckett's pretty tough graders. From what I know, they're a little tougher than PSA, but they make these nice thick slabs and uh, they just look really good. I mean, look at that. Together, they just look awesome. So that's why I went with Beckett on the PCs because I feel like everybody goes PSA. I think they have like 8 million PSAs compared to only 600,000 BGS. Next one is a card I was very excited for. Surprised they got a nine, thought it would get a nine five. Uh, another Crown Royale Brady. And uh, just a sweet looking set right there. Goes good with the Gronk, obviously. Got the long hair Brady, the nine on this one. Um, not really sure why this card got a nine. Once again, I thought it was more of a nine five. I didn't clean the surface up the top, so maybe it's just a surface thing. See, there's a few little uh, marks. Probably, well, actually that's on the case, um, but still looks really good in the Beckett case. Just super awesome, super collectible. Yeah, I'm not really seeing why this card got a nine. Yeah, maybe a little edging, but nothing crazy. Like I said, this is my first BGS submission, so now I kind of have a better frame of reference of 
what to submit and whatnot. But like, you know, almost all of them are PC cards, so not for reselling. Don't fear, guys, these are not all mines. We do have some bangers. Oh, not to spoil anything. <laughs> Uh, next one up, though, another cool, uh, another cool PC card here. Once again, not perfectly centered in there, and I don't know if that's something that can be fixed. I don't know if they rushed my order, but uh, I've never seen that before. It's actually kind of off upsetting. It's going to offset. Uh, another nine, though, nonetheless. You know, this card, $3 eBay card, just like the clean look of it. Just looks good in really any collection. Um, you know, I expected a little, once again, a 9.5 on this, but, you know, that gets a tough grader. Um, the next card, I knew it would be a 9.5 or a 10, so I was very satisfied when I saw that. Very happy about this one. This card, I think I purchased for $5 online, looked in immaculate condition, and uh, it did receive that high-end grade, so I'm very happy about that. The 9.5 looks just so awesome. You'd think Bega would put just a little more info under these on the non-subgrade cards just to kind of fill in their label, but still a sweet looking Crown Royale, as you can see, just pretty perfect all the way across. Centering's really great. In my opinion, this card probably PSA 10s, but you know, for my PC, I just like the Bega label. So yeah, 9.5, beautiful. Put that one right up here. Excuse the mess. I'm sorting out some 90s cards right now as we speak. Another 9.5 coming up. This one uh, I'm very happy with. I might sell this card, but it does look really good. 2007, hit, of course, is 50 touchdown MVP undefeated season year right here. This card in a PSA 10 goes for about 80 bucks. I purchased it for $3, so I'm very happy with this uh, purchase. 20 bucks for grading, $3 purchase, so we're looking at about $23 card. And uh, it's worth about 80, 90 bucks now. So that's awesome. Just looks so good in a BGS 9.5. I think this is a, I want to say a pop two, pop three, like super low pop. There's nothing, no tens above it. So once again, you know, I'm not sure exactly how Beckett gives these cards. I do see a little left thing that I didn't notice before in the left corner. So maybe that's why I didn't get a 10, but still a 9.5 in this card. I mean, just awesome. Just vintage looking card. Tom Brady right there. So now we've got the two 9.5s side by side. Very cool looking. Look great in my case. This next one was the thickest card. The most expensive, not very expensive, but the, this one I was planning on reselling from the beginning because I got a good deal on it. It was only $30. It was a Josh Jacobs rookie patch auto. Um, you know, of course, he had a great season. I think he put up 1,600 um, rushing yards. You know, he's obviously... Him and Devontae carried the Raiders this year. So uh, let's check it out. RPA Josh Jacobs 2019 right here. Just super sweet. You got the nine mint card. Looks great, man. 10 auto, obviously. So that's always a bonus. I mean, just phenomenal looking card. Auto 150. Imagine this in a black label. I mean, my God. But that's such a sick match. You got the gray with the gray. You got the gold with the gold. It just looks really good. I think it's going to sell super well in this slab. Obviously, the nice refractor, perfect sticker auto. Um, let's see, this one was out of 150. So, yeah, super thick. I, I don't know if BGS changed their slabs. I don't remember them looking exactly like this, but uh, just super good looking stuff here. Try not knock everything down and scratch on my slabs already. So, yeah, those are the three gems of this return. I got a return from PSA and a return from BGS coming back in a few weeks, so I'll have an update for you guys. Um, yeah, let me know uh, if you guys prefer Beckett or PSA or the few SGC fans left out there for modern stuff. But uh, take it easy, guys. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and, su like and subscribe and uh, check out my shorts where I post all the uh, big hits on Loop and uh, YouTube, stuff like that. All right, peace.